this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome back to our Europa Complete Walkthrough. This is uh, episode five, and we're talking about LFOs. Um, this is the last kind of meat and potatoes episode that we're that is in this series where um, you probably know what most of these things are. Um, we did envelopes and amps and filters and, and stuff that most people are pretty familiar with. Um, and I uh, just wanted to touch on it because my goal is to literally talk about every single button knob and uh, whatnot on here. So uh, so let's get into LFOs, and uh, then after this episode, the next one, we get into the wave options uh, over here, and uh, that's when stuff gets real crazy. So LFOs, we've got three LFO options, and I'm being very strict in my definition because if you watched the last episode and didn't figure it out, envelopes, because you have a loop option, and you have a Hertz option, um, you it really can be an LFO in and of itself. You can use the envelopes as LFOs. Um, but technically, there's three LFOs to play with, low-frequency oscillators. Um, <clears throat> so we've got several different shapes to choose from for each one of these. Uh, and... You can do you can do a lot with an LFO, um, and so so this sound I have here, I've assigned LFO one to uh, engine one shape, uh, and then LFO two engine two pan LFO three to the filter frequency. The real flexibility with these is routing, um, because and we'll this is for a future episode. But you know you can you can route them wherever you want to route them. It uh, you can do so much with them. Um, you can make sounds sound. You can make things sound more human. You can do crazy wacky effects with them. Um, it's just the sky's the limit. You got each one of these ind independent effects. You know so uh, LFO one. I can choose the wave, I can set the delay, I can set my hertz. Um, LFO2, I can do something totally different. So boom, boom, see? And then LFO3, I have the option to do the third. So you can probably see very quickly where the power is there uh, that... So I was just playing with those and that's a very different sound than what we had just a second ago. Um, but you can see how how different that is. Um, beat sync, uh, just like in the envelopes, you can set it so that each of these is synced in time. And then um, delay, how long does it take before it takes effect? And then this one's a little longer. So key sync will restart the LFO uh, at at every key press, every new note note on. Um, so if you have a slow LFO or or one that's dipping low and um, you're getting clicks when you're playing, uh, sometimes turning on key sync will fix that. Um, where it's not, so like if this were the LFO and it's starting in the middle of the, um, the ramp, um, instead of starting at like the zero point, um, then key sync is your friend in that case. And then global, um, to activate the, make the LFO, uh, common for all voices and that is monophonic. Um, so... If we wanted to apply this same LFO to all voices, hit that global button and it will do it. So it's just a quick demonstration. Uh, I have two examples here of uh, what exactly you can do with an LFO and kind of how these work. Uh, so uh, these are the same, I've created the same patch um, two different ways here. And this is also a demonstration of kind of the power of Europa. So in this first one, I've routed LFO1 
to uh, uh, engine one pitch, LFO two to engine two mod one, and LFO three to engine three mod two. So um, individually, that sounds something like this. So you can hear the pitch modulating there. Um, so I did that to make it sound like more natural um, than two. And so you can hear I have a, this this LFO, this little stair step LFO up and down. You can have replied it negative. Uh, and then number three. So stair step just going up. Uh, and with a longer delay, so they so they apply themselves uh, kind of in sequence. The the pitch one you don't really hear; it just thickens the sound. But the uh, but, but the other ones you, you definitely can hear them apply. And so um, LFO one, you see, I've left it at hertz stage. I do have key sync on for everything um, because every time I hit a note, I want them to start over. I want the LFO to start over. So um, all together now. So it's a pretty fat sound. Um, and you can hear that, like, I, what I wanted was the interplay between the, uh, between the LFOs. So hopefully you can hear that. Um, then, uh, just as an example for, you know, what kind of power does, uh, does Europa have, I recreated it and I only used the matrix for one thing. That was the LFO one, uh, pitch, um, didn't see a way that I could do that within the engine. Um, so that one is going to sound almost identical like this. And um, so to, to do that, what did I do? I, I matched all my settings first and then um, see here LFO2 and I used the negative setting because here I had gone negative. So uh, LFO2 negative in the amount 73%, 72%, pretty close. Um, and then on engine three, mod 2, uh, LFO 3 applying to mod 2, 76% there. So basically saving spaces on the matrix. So I could do more with the matrix if I wanted to. Uh, and that was, that was the goal. Just, you know, you could do the exact same thing without even getting the matrix involved. Um, not just for LFOs, but for all of these different settings, all these different routing settings. And that's one of those big differences between Thor and Europa, uh, that makes Europa a little bit more powerful in, in some ways. Uh, I think Thor has maybe some more routing options, but, um, but nevertheless, uh, still has, has some power. It's just a different synth. They have a lot of similarities, but it's a different synth. Uh, and that's, those are LFOs. Uh, so again, pretty straightforward. Um, next episode is a uh, wave. So this section here, and we're going to go through all of these different waves and what they are and sound like and it's and then we're going to talk about modifiers after that uh and this is where it really starts to get silly so um i'll see you next episode thanks for your eyes and ears on this one. cheers